हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स एंड स्मार्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड ऑब्वियसली टू डेवलप दैट स्पीड ऑफ कैलकुलेशंस टू सॉल्व अराउंड लाइक फोर्टी फिफ्टी एम इन वन आर टाइम एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी गुड इन द बेसिक कैलकुलेशंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप अ मेथड थ्रू विच you can actually multiply numbers and divide numbers very very quickly and uh, one thing uh, you know you need to know before watching the complete video is these uh, the summary of whatever i write here on uh, uh, the whiteboard actually that is all mental maths so if you feel that the method is getting lengthier you need to understand that those steps which i am writing here are not to be written they are to be visualized and then you need to uh, you know carry out those calculations in the mind itself so what is the method the method is the method of partial products and partial quotients so partial products for multiplication and partial quotients for division so before understanding what is the concept behind the trick let me tell you about the ebook of short tricks which we have brought out specially for all those who are looking to calculate 10 times faster and looking to clear those quantitative aptitude exams the ebook of short tricks contains 24 different chapters which covers over 300 short tricks and it comes with a combo of reasoning in which we have given the videos also uh various competitive exams like banking exams sbi and ibps you know uh, the list is endless you know you can target the quantitative aptitude portion and uh, solve them smartly using these short tricks mentioned in the ebook so if you want to grab a copy of this amazing combo then you can send me a message on whatsapp this is the whatsapp number 9896369963 let's now look into the concept of the trick now for understanding this concept let's take a basic multiplication like 26 times 7 now the visualization exercise what we have to do here to multiply these in the mind is to think about the place values of the digits in the number 26 like 2 is in the tens place so we have to think about this number 2 as 20 and then 6 since it is at the ones place so it will remain as 6 only so actually what we want to visualize is not 26 but 20 and 6 now this is to be you know uh, not to be written here so this is just a, a visualization exercise now we all know that 7 times 20 is going to be 140 and 7 times 6 is going to be 40 2 so if i add them i can add them mentally and find the product of 26 and 7 as 182 likewise if the number gets bigger suppose we have a number like 487 and i want to multiply that by say uh, 9 then i have to think about this 4 as 400 and then 8 as 80 and 7 as 7 itself and then i will have three partial products that means it is a uh, it is not a complete product so we have a partial result like 9 times 4 we all know is 36 so it will be followed by two zeros 9 times 8 is 72 so that will be followed by one zero and 9 times 7 is 63 so if i add them i will get 3 4 4 3 8 3 as the result and that is actually the product of 487 and 9 that's how the partial product work similarly when you are dividing a number like suppose you have number 91 and i want to divide that by 7 now dividing 91 by 7 can be done using the quotients which are partial like 91 divided by 7 i have to get closest to 91 in such a way that the table of 7 doesn't bother me like 7 10 times is 
70 we all know right so dividend is 91 so i will subtract 70 from 91 to get 21 now this 10 which i have done 7 times 10 is 70 this is a partial quotient okay and now 21 we all know 3 times will be 21 itself so if you subtract 21 you will get the remainder as 0 and 10 and 3 when you add them you will get 13 as your quotient so the quotient is 13 so this is called partial quotient you know we do what is convenient for us 7 10 times is far more easier than doing 7 8 times or 7 5 times or 7 7 times right likewise if the divisor gets bigger the method doesn't change and we are going to see that in our upcoming examples so here we have the first example in which i am going to take up the product of 487 by 8 right so 8 4 times is 32 and since 4 lies in the hundreds place so i will put two zeros 8 8 times is 64 and it is in the tens place so 64 followed by a zero and 8 7 times is 56 so i will write them here and then 6 9 8 3 3 8 9 6 is the product of 487 and 8 we can have a two digit number also like suppose you have 736 and i want to multiply that by 14 so if i know 14 times table then it is very easy for me because 14 7 times is give, giving me 98 right but it is in the hundreds place so i have to put two zeros then 14 3 times is 42 but it is in the tens place so 42 followed by a zero and 14 6 times is 84 so i will write it here and then add vertically 4 this is 10 0 1 carry so 13 3 1 carry and a 10 so 1 0 3 0 4 is the product i can go on and on and take more examples like this like 952 and multiply that by maybe a number like 23 now if i don't know 23 times table i can actually do 20 times table and 3 times table okay so 20 times this 9 so we have to visualize that as 900 right so 20 times 900 that is easy 18 followed by 3 zeros that is going to be the first uh, number which is to be visualized and then 20 times 5 is 100 and one more zero so 1000 and then 20 times 2 is 40 so three numbers but still we haven't taken this three so i'll do the multiplication the traditional multiplication three twos are six three fives are 15 five and a one carry and three nines are 27 plus 128 and now i can do the vertical addition this is six this is nine and then we have the eight and eight nine ten eleven one one carry and a two two one eight nine six is the product now using this method using this approach you can try one example i'll give you a diy question do it yourself question you can solve that using this method and comment here whether you got the answer right or not and how much time did it actually take 3847 and i want you to multiply that by a number like 46 so the simple hint is you have to consider this as 40 and 6 so 40 times 3 and then followed by 3 zeros 40 times 8 followed by 2 zeros 40 times 4 followed by 1 0 40 times 7 and then 6 times this number to be written below that and then vertical addition to be done okay so this is partial products you know this looks like little difficult when you see it for the first time but a lot of practice required and this uh, process has to be done in the mind this is not to be written okay so as you do like 60 70 questions you will feel that the method is getting much more easier okay let's see now the use of partial quotients in division so here we have a question where i need to divide four nine nine two eight by the number eight 
Now, how do I do it? See, this is uh, like 49,000 something. Okay. So, most of the students know that 8, 5 times is 40. So, if I do 8, 5,000 times, so it will be 40,000. So, I will just subtract 40,000 from this number and I will get 9,928 and this becomes my first partial quotient. Likewise, if I do 8 into 1000, I will get 8000 and if I subtract 8000 from this, this becomes 91928, uh, right? And similarly, I can do 8 200 times is 1600 so subtract 1600 you get 328 and I can do 8 40 times is 320 so subtract 320 I get a 8 and 8 1 times gets me a 8 so the remainder is 0 so all these quotients which I have written here they are known as partial quotients and if I add all of them my final quotient or the answer will be 5000, 6000, 6200, 6241. And now you can pick up the calculators and check 49928 divided by 8. Is that 6241? And you will be surprised that the result is very, very accurate. Let's take another example 7358. And I need to divide that by 13. Now, similar to the previous uh, question, I know that 13 5 times is 65. So, 500 times will be 6500. So, just subtract these, you get 8, 5, and then this is 8. So, 858. Now, again, 13 5 times, that is convenient for me. 13 5 times is 65. So, 650 5 times followed by a 0. So, subtract you get 802 208 here and then uh, i can do 13 10 times which is very easy 130 that gets me 78 and finally 13 6 times is 78 so that gets me the, the remainder as zero and all the partial quotients now will be added and you will get the final answer so 500 50 66 566 this is the quotient for this particular question. So friends, you can just practice these partial products and partial quotients is a wonderful, wonderful concept in mathematics. And if you practice this, uh, obviously your calculation speed is going to improve and you are not going to rely on uh, the pen and paper to do these basic calculations. So for this partial quotients method, I am going to uh, give you a DIY. You can solve this question also and comment. Uh, whether you could solve it correctly and how much time did you take to crack the question. So you have to do 6, 7, 6, 2 and you have to divide that by the number 46. Okay. So get me the quotient and tell me in the comments did it work for you. So partial quotients and partial products. The concept I hope is clear to you now. And if it works for you, do share it with all your friends. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon to get all the notifications of such, uh, you know, useful uploads, which we have been doing uh, on Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts. Thanks for watching this video and all the best.